So, what do we do to clean our brass? Well, what I do is take hot water, a little lemon juice, and some Dawn dishwashing liquid, and I mix it all together. I put blue gloves on, and then I swish it around in there, and let it sit. And probably eh, somewhere around an hour, 45 minutes, sometimes longer. If it's really nasty and dirty, I may leave it in there for an hour and a half, two hours. But I don't usually leave it for more than two hours. And my normal, general, you know, cleaning of this kind of brass that's dirty, but it's not filthy, 45 minutes to an hour is how long it sits in the water. But what I do is I use hot water. I rinse it off really good once with just water just to get a lot of the chunks out and I kind of swirl it around and, and get as much of the chunks out as I can. Then I add my soap, probably only 10 or 15 drops of soap to water filled up to about right here in this shoe box. And then two capfuls of lemon juice. So I take the bottle, pour lemon juice into just this cap, and then dump it in and swirl it around. I don't want it too soapy, but I do want it to degrease the brass. So I don't want tons of soap because then it leaves a soapy residue that turns gray and it's kind of nasty. Now the Dawn soap, I've done it's testing with three or four different soaps. This stuff, the Ultra Soap or the yeah, the Ultra Soap or the Platinum Soap, those are the two best ones that I've found. You can actually get a small bottle of this at the dollar store for a dollar. You can get a bottle of this lemon juice at the dollar store for a dollar. And you used to be able to get one of these shoebox tubs at the dollar store too, or one close to it. I don't think you can buy these there anymore. But for a couple of bucks, two or three dollars, you can get one of these somewhere. And then soap and lemon juice for about five bucks, you can be cleaning your own brass by hand. Now, I wear the gloves and mix it all around and I roll them together and I'm going to show you some of that on camera but it's really noisy and I don't want to film a lot of it but I will put it on camera I'm just telling you what I'm doing first before I do it so I'm going to tell you what I do then I'm going to show you what I do and then I'm going to tell you what I did that's essentially what's going to happen now you'll notice when you wear these gloves and you rub this stuff around in this solution your gloves will be filthy Okay, so I'm talking 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. I swirl the stuff around. Now, I don't have a lot of cases in this tub today. This is just to show you how I do what I do. But I've done it with like 100 cases in a tub like this. Okay, and the dirtier it is, the longer I let it sit, essentially. So I'll swirl them all around, and then I let them sit again for 10 or 15 minutes. So three or four times in 45 minutes to an hour, I will swirl them, let them sit. 10 or 15 minutes later, go back in, swirl them again. Swirl them around for 20 or 30 seconds maybe. And then let them sit. At the end of the 45 minutes or an hour, I dump off the dirty water down the drain or outside, depending if the weather's nice. A lot of times I'll just dump it outside in the woods. Then I come in and I rinse it with hot water again to get as much of the soap out as I can. Sometimes two or three times. Depends on if I see soap residue or not. Then I will let it sit in hot water that is clean. After I'm done rinsing off all of the soap residue, I'll let it sit in hot water that is clean for a few minutes and kind of shake them back and forth like this. Make sure it's clean, rinse them off real good. Once I'm convinced that they're clean and the residue is gone, then I take a big towel I dump my cases in my towel and I shake it up and kind of rub it around to dry them off pretty well. Then I will take the cases and I'll stick them in a pan like this or something similar and put them in the oven at 150 or 160 for like an hour. Again, it's not a scientific process. You don't want to overheat them, but 150 or 160 for an hour will dry the cases. Now, my normal process, decap my brass before I do any of this. Then I take them, I rinse them real good and go through the process I just explained and that I'm going to do on camera. Now, what I've been doing lately is putting 
the batches into small trays and putting them in the same oven that I do my powder coating in. Again, 150 or 160 for an hour. I don't think anything's going to come off of these once they've been cleaned and rinsed really well that's going to hurt you or get in your oven or get on food. But whether or not you do that, that's up to you. I've also dried them out in the sun. I've left them on a towel out in the yard on a sunny day and just gone out and rolled them around. I used to have a screen, a big long piece of screen that I would leave out and I would just air dry them on a sunny day. Where I live, it's cold a lot, it rains a lot, you can't count on having a hot sunny day. So I use the oven most of the time. Okay, so let's get into washing.
right, well, you can see how clean the cases come out and how that little bit of work and letting the citric acid in the lemon juice and letting the grease fighters in the soap just do their job really, really ends up with nice looking shiny clean brass. Uh, is it as good as you know, stainless steel media tumbled for an hour in a $200 tumbler? No, I'm sure it's not. But it's really, really good. And it works well with every kind of case that I've tried. Uh, you do have to make sure you clean the primer pockets out on the bigger primer pockets and on the rifle primer pockets. But usually 9mm actually will come out clean inside and out. It's pretty spotless. 45, the inside of the cases are usually pretty clean. These were only in the solution for about 40 minutes, so uh, they're not, you know, I didn't let them sit and clean as long as normal, but they're still very, very clean and shiny. The idea is you want to get all the junk off so you can inspect your cases, look at them real good, and also keep any extra gunk from getting inside the dyes, you know, get most of the carbon off. The point is, it's inexpensive and it's easy to do. So I hope this was helpful for everybody. I thank you for your time. I know it was sort of a long, <laughs> drawn out process, but that's how I do it. And I just want to make sure that everybody got to see how I do it. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day.